ఏంటంటే ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ది పర్సనల్ హైజింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఫుడ్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ లో ప్రొటెక్షన్గా మనం తెలుసుకున్నాం కదా సో ఆల్రెడీ ఫిష్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ టెక్నాలజీలో మనకి ఏంటంటే ఓకే సో ఓకే సో ఫ్రెష్ పాసింగ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఫిష్ ఈస్ కాట్ అండ్ బాట్ బై ప్రిపేర్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ దెమ్ కన్జంక్షన్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద స్టెప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది టెక్నాలజీ సో దిస్ ఇస్ సబ్ డివైడెడ్ ఇంటూ త్రీ ఫేజెస్ ఫ్రీ ప్రాసింగ్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ ఫుడ్ ప్రాసింగ్ and manufacturing and post passing post passing stages so inclusion of the fish processing plants amenities to be provided at fish processing units or fish receiving areas washing area and dressing area so smoking rooms salting room refrigeration units packaging units and product dispatch areas so fish processing technology is done by three stages one is the pre processing technology pre processing technology and processing technology and post processing technology so first lo manaku already know the pre processing technology this is mainly concerned with the handling of fish catch and storage in marine fisheries primary processing is often connected on ships so with the waste is typically being disposed of directly into the sea so in case of fresh water fish is typically land based requiring high quality processing water for washing fish so cleaning process areas cooling and production purposes physical methods such as flotation screening and sedimentation are used to remove oil and grease and other suspended solids besides so fish dressing freezing glazing roe processing and milk processing salting and smoking okay so after that processing technology so processing technology is the main role the ఆ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ఆఫ్ సీ ఫుడ్స్ ఇంక్లూడ్స్ ద డ్రెస్సింగ్ సో సీ ఫుడ్స్ని కలెక్ట్ చేసిన తర్వాత సో ఇంక్లూడ్స్ ద డ్రెస్సింగ్ ఫిల్టింగ్ అండ్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫుడ్ ఐటమ్స్ ఇదర్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రైమరీ ఫిష్ ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ దేర్ బ్రై ప్రోడక్ట్స్ సో ద అబోవ్ రిసీవ్డ్ ఫిష్ ఈ సబ్జెక్టెడ్ టు సెకండరీ ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ సో బై యూజింగ్ బయలాజికల్ అండ్ ఫిజికల్ కెమికల్ మీన్స్ ఓకే so biological treatments use aerobic and anaerobic microorganisms to metabolize the organic polluting matters into energy and biomass the most used aerobic processes so are activated sludge system aerated lang- lagoons so trickingly filter or bacterial beds okay so processing technologies lo manam kashi a type of manufacturing methods lo unte so fish sea foods ni collect chesina tarvata dressing chestamu after that different food items either primary fish of their broad products so fish teeskuntam fish ni valagi live lo teeskovadam anedi manufacturing cheyadam jarugutundi alage by products so by products ka 
ప్రిపేర్ చేయడం అనేది జరుగుతుంది సో ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ప్రైమ్ అబో డిస్టర్ ఫేషియస్ సబ్జెక్టెడ్ టు సెకండరీ ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ బై యూజింగ్ బయలాజికల్ అండ్ ఫిజికో కెమికల్ మీన్స్ సో బయలాజికల్ ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఏరోబిక్ అండ్ ఎరోబిక్ మైక్రో ఆర్గానిజమ్స్ టు మెటబలైజ్ ద ఆర్గానిక్ పొల్యూటింగ్ మ్యాటర్ టు ఎనర్జీ అండ్ బయోమాస్ సో ద మోస్ట్ యూజ్డ్ ఏరోబిక్ ప్రాసెసెస్ ఆర్ యాక్టివేటెడ్ స్లడ్జ్ సిస్టమ్ ఎరేటెడ్ లాగ్వేజ్ స్ట్రికింగ్లీ ఫిల్టర్స్ ఆర్ బ్యాక్టీరియల్ బెడ్స్ and the um, rotating biological contractors in aerobic processes uh, the anaerobic microorganisms digest the organic waste is and matters in the tank into the biogas okay after consisting of the methane and carbon dioxide and biomass okay after పోస్ట్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ టెక్నాలజీలో చూసుకుంటే ఆఫ్టర్ ద మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ ద ప్రోసెస్ ప్రొసీడర్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ బై యూజువలీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ప్రాసెసింగ్ ఫెసిలిటీస్ ఆర్ లాక్స్ బై రోడ్ ఓకే టు కన్జ్యూమర్స్ హోల్సేలర్స్ అండ్ కమర్షియల్ ఫుడ్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్స్ పోస్ట్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ టెక్నాలజీలో అక్కడ ప్రీ ప్రాసెసింగ్ టెక్నాలజీలో ఫిషింగ్ క్యాచ్ చేసాం హ్యాండ్ వాషింగ్ ద ఫిష్ చేసి ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ టెక్నాలజీస్ కంప్లీన్ చేసిన తర్వాత సో మనం ఏం చేస్తాం పోస్ట్ హార్వెస్ట్ అంటే డైరెక్ట్ మార్కెటింగ్ చేయడం అనేది కంటిన్యూ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ చేయడం అనేది ఇంపార్టెంట్ అనమాట ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ ద ప్రాసెసింగ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ after that handling live fish and its preservation so other way for keeping fresh fish fresh is to keep them alive until they are delivered to the buyer or ready to be eaten so this is a common practice worldwide typically the fish are placed in a containers with clean water so dead damaged shrink uh, fish are removed సో ఫస్ట్ మనం హ్యాండిల్ ఆఫ్ ది లైఫ్ ఫిష్ లైఫ్ ఫిష్ని ఎలా హ్యాండిల్ చేస్తాం అలాగే ప్రిజర్వేషన్ అది ఎలా చేస్తాం సో అదర్ వే ఆఫ్ ది కీపింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఫిష్ ఫ్రెష్ టు కీప్ ద అలైవ్ సో ఫ్రెష్గా ఉన్నటువంటి ఫిష్ని అలైవ్గా ఉన్నటువంటి ఫిష్ని అంటే దే ఆర్ డెలివర్ టు ద బయర్ సో డైరెక్ట్గా డ డెలివర్ చేసుకోవడం బయర్కి డెలివర్ చేయడం ఇంపార్టెంట్ అలాగే రెడీ టు ఈ టు బి ఈటన్ బయర్ ఏం చేస్తారు కొంత కొన్న తర్వాత కన్జ్యూమర్స్కి సేల్ చేస్తారు సార్ సో రెడీ టు బి ఈటన్ so this is common practice of world wide so world wide ka common ga unnatundi practices so typically the fish are placed in a containers with clean water so typically ga fish or fish and the placed in containers of the clean water so fish and the oka containers lo clean water maintain chese andulo fish ni storage cheyadam anedi important so dead and damaged shrink fish are removed so dead ga chesina damaged fish is anni em cheyali remove cheyali so after that water temperature is then blowed and the fishes are stirred to reduce their metabolic rate and the autolysis water temperature is then lower the temperature very low under and the fish have the stirred and to reduce the metabolic rate so fish low on the metabolic rates and it reduces low under so all again autolysis autolysis so this decreases decreases okay this when the temperature is lowered and the fish are starved to reduce their metabolic rate and autolysis this decreases falling of water with ammonia nitrate and carbon dioxide so this disease is decreases falling of water with ammonia nitrate and carbon dioxide okay so their presence makes water to become 
toxics and make it difficult for the fish and exact oxygen so the presence of water lo and the containers lo water maintain chestapudu a water and toxic materials unnapudu the fishes anedi somewhat exit exit of the oxygen this kind of difficult and the faces it kabatti eppudu containers lo use chestu water ni fresh ga unnatundi water ga unchali okay so fish can be kept alive in floating cages so fish anedi can be kept in the alive in floating cages wells and the fish ponds so fish ni purga alive ga unchinappudu floating floating cages floating unnatundi waters lo alage wells and the fish ponds so bowl lo no fish ponds lo no vidhi penchalanamata so in aquaculture holding basins are used where where the water is continuously filtered and its temperature and oxygen levels are controlled so ikkada aquaculture man maintain chesetappudu holding basins are the used where the water is continuously filtered so water anedi continuous ga filter lo undali alage and its temperature and oxygen levels are controlled so temperature anedi oxygen levels anedi controlled only so live fish can be uh, transported simply by placing in plastic bags so live fish ni can be transported okay ప్లేస్ నుంచి ఇంకో ప్లేస్ కి విత్ ఇన్ దూరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది లెస్ లెస్ క్రీన్ లో ఉన్నప్పుడు సో ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది ప్లాస్టిక్ బ్యాగ్స్ సో ప్లాస్టిక్ బ్యాగ్స్ లో ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ చేయడం అనేది ఓకే ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ అండ్ ప్లాస్టిక్ బ్యాగ్స్ having an oxygenated atmosphere oxygenated atmosphere ni maintain chal or in trunks having sophisticated and automated equipment for water filtration so plastic bags lo with me fishes ni transport chal so after that can be transported of the simply by placing in plastic bags have the oxygenated atmosphere and in trunks have a sophisticated automated equipment for water filtration so oxygenation and temperature regulations temperature regulation we maintain chal okay after that <laughs> preservations so preservation says in the it is necessary prevent fish spoilers by bacteria and the microorganisms and lengthens the shelf life preservation prevents the accumulations of excretory materials causing pungent and foul smell okay so the preservation lekapothe em avutundante fish ane alive alive avadam anedi kashtam avutundi so ee bacteria micro organisms and pathogens anedi contaminated chan they produce the bad bad smell so bad smell anedi ostu alanta alanta fishes ni evaru consumers retail cheyaru so this is done in several ways such as freezing icing uh, refrigerations and pump full of ice technology so several methods lo manam preservatives ni uses already meeku previous class lo preservative methods anti meeku traditional methods and advanced technology methods ni use chesi manam preservation fish ni preservation cheyadam anedi jarigindi so such as freezing icing refrigerations and pump full ice technology so okay pump full ice is homogeneous and flows like water it cools fish food. fish faster than other methods and elimination freezing burns okay eliminates the freezing burns so it complies with the hscp so it is a uh, certificate of the hscp is this uh, issued the certificate in the food and processing industries so hscp and is4 food safety and public health standard besides using less energy than no convention cooling technologies so cooling technologies use cheskoni ee iso wala certification ivadam adi so these are the food product is the food safety and the public health so public health lo use cheskochu public health ki no problems ani cheppi been introduced cheyadam adi so that is the handling of the life fish and its preservations okay what is it uh, other way of of keeping fresh fish fresh is to keep them alive until they are delivered to the buyer or ready to 
to be eaten. So this is common practice of the world where typical the fish are placed in a container with clean water. So dead, damaged or sink fish is are removed. So water temperature is then lowered and the fish are shaved to reduce their metabolic rate and autolysis. The in, this in decreases falling of water with ammonia, nitrate and carbon dioxide. The presence makes water to become toxic and make it difficult for the fish to extract oxygen. So fish can be kept alive in floating cages, wells and fish ponds. So in aquaculture, holding basins are used where the water is continuously filtered and its temperature and oxygen levels are controlled. Live fish can be transported simply by placing in plastic bags having an oxygenated atmosphere or in trunks having suction cage. So automated equipment for water filtration, oxygenation, temperature regulations. Okay. Preservations. It is necessary to prevent fish pilots by bacteria, microorganisms and lengthens the shelf life preservation prevents the accumulations of excretory materials causing fungate and foul smell. Okay? So this is done in several ways such as freezing, icing, refrigerations and pumpable icing technology. So pumpable ice is homogeneous and flows like water. It cools fish faster than other methods and eliminates freeze bulbs. It comp compiles the with HACCP and ISO food safety and public health standards besides using less energy than conventional cooling technologies. Okay, So these are the fish handling, fresh fish and preservation methods of the fish. Okay. So next to Indian food regulations in comparisons with global standards. So Indian already, Indian people food regulations and comparison with the global standards. So comparison of the global standard key food regulations side the maintain just the Indian Sanjapi identified Chedamanji. So the Indian food safety regulations has implemented by the food safety and inspection services. Indian Walu, Indian Food Safety Regulations in just the implement of the system of the what is the FSIS? So that is called the Food Safety and Inspection Services. So or primarily based on the Codex Alimentaires. So now an apex body on the name of the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. Okay. So the command government apex body on the name of the called of the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India FSSAI so is constituted by an act under uh, act of government as regulators okay it even the act of government regulators we maintain just so it is empowered by the and functions under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India so if functioning on the ever maintain just under so under under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India. The Codex was formed with the collaborative efforts of the World Health Organization. Government of India is collaborations with the efforts of the World Health Organization and Food and Agriculture Organization. So two eminent United Nations Health and Food Bank bodies okay so the into collaborations we maintain just with the world health organization and the food and uh, agriculture organization so so you two eminent united nations health and food bodies the collaborations we maintain just like okay the codex alimentarius for international food standards guidelines and codes of practices contributing to the safety and quality of the food reaching consumers okay the codex alimentarius for national food standards so international 
food standards, guidelines and codes of practice contributing to the safety? And the quality of the food reaching consumers. Okay? Consumers ki quality food nidhi chedam kosi vi organization ta vak chedam nidhi jirugutun. So since the FASSAI, so these are the food safety and the standards authority of India. So these are the FASSAI regulations are framed on the guidelines of the code and so on. Almentrias, they adhere the to international standards. Even the ekara international standards ni maintain ches the. So other international standards formulated by global agencies like the European Food Safety Authority. If we ka kunda inka global agencies and international standard formulated ches at twenty global agencies ye twenty. So European Food Safety Authority. So food standard Australia, New Zealand. And the USFDA and the United States of the Food, De uh, Food Development uh, Committees, so authorities, okay. So have also to some extent been assimilated, integrated, have and harmonized into the Indian standards. They by bringing them almost at par with the global standards, okay. global standards ni maintain cheyadam anedi jarugutundi okay now after that uh, future of food regulations in india so these are exist existing times for food safety regulations in india the recent proposals mentioned in the new draft regulations will soon be finalized to become the new food safety and standards regulations in the 2015. So they will be provide new directives in areas such as nutraceuticals and health supplements. Okay. So uh, future of the food regulations in the India. India the future regulations here So these are exciting times for food safety regulations in India. So the recent proposal mentioned in new draft regulations will, will soon be finalized. Finalized. Okay, to become the new food safety and standards regulations in the 2015 year. Okay, they will be provide new directives in areas such as nutraceutical and health supplements. The need of the uh, hover as these are being popular in food categories. So popular in food categories. Standardizations for thousands of food is on the focus. Food business operators are certainly anticipating some positive changes in food regulations, so which could easy product approval processes and food operations. So a harmonization of Indian food standards with the global standards is a step in the right directions. Our food regulations will incorporate food standards that are acceptable worldwide. Okay. So on the health supplements, the need of the our as these are becoming popular in food categories, categories standardization for thousands of foods is on the uh, focus. So food business operators are certainly anticipating some positive changes in food regulations, so which could easy product approval process of the food operations. So 
organizations of indian food standards indian food standards the with global standards the is a step in the right directions our food regulations will incorporate food standards that are acceptable worldwide so worldwide ga india se ka food standards maintain chestund ani cheppi acceptable chestunnatundi manam future lo develop chesukodam anedi jaragali okay so this is the indian food regulations in comparison with the global standards what is the Uh, the indian food safety regulations as implemented by the food safety um, inspection service that is called the fsis so are primarily based on the codex alimentarius so no one affects body on the same name of the food safety and standard authority of india fsis ia so it is constituted by an act of the government as regulators okay so it is empowered by and functions under the ministry of health and family welfare so government of india so the codex was formed with the collaborative efforts of the world health organizations and the food and agriculture organizations two eminent uh, eminent united states nation health and food bodies okay Uh, the codex alimentarius for the international food standards guidelines and codex for of practices contributing to the safety and quality of the food reaching consumers so since the fssai regulations are framed on the guidelines of the codex alimentarius so there are they have to international standards over the maintaining of the international standards other international standards formulated by global agencies like the european food safety authority after that uh, food standards australia new zealand and the us fda have have also to be some extent to be assimilated integrated and harmonized into the indian standards so thereby bringing them almost at par the with the global standards okay so after that future of food regulations in india so these are exciting times for food safety regulations in india the recent proposals mentioned in the new draft regulations will soon be finalized to become the new food safety and standards regulations in the 2015 year so they will be provide new directives in areas such as nutraceuticals and health supplements the need of the hour as these are becoming popular in food categories okay after that standardization for thousands of foods is on the focus after standardization of the thousands of foods on the focus so okay food business operators are really anticipating some positive changes in food regulations which could easy product approval process and food operations okay a harmonization of india food standards with global standards okay harmonization of indian food standards with global standards is a step in the right directions okay our food regulations will incorporate food standards that are acceptable of the world but so man like food concepts ni worldwide accept chese vidhanga main standards ni man maintain cheyalane future regulations lo food regulations lo manam process ni maintain cheyalanamata okay so that is the future of the regulations in the india so what is know the today class indian food regulations in comparison with the global standards so indian sir uh, indian law food regulations we on a comparison of the uh, global standards lo maintain cheyadam alage handling of the live fish and its preservative methods so fresh water fresh fish ni alive cheskoni handling chesi danni manamu preservative methods ni ante akka damages jarakunda dead jarakunda unnatundi fishes jarakunda maintain chesi preservative chesi aromane flavor ani pokunda live fish ela manam untamo aa consumers ki alaga fish ni manam transport cheyadam anedi jaragali after that you will know the fish processing technology so if fish processing technology lo 
मन आलरे प्री प्रासे टेक्नजी आफ्टर दट प्रासे मैनुफाक्चर आफ्टर दट पोस्ट प्रासे टेक्नजी सो दी आर् दि क्लास डिस्क अब दि फिश प्रासे टेक्नजी अंड हैंडली आफ दि फ्रेश फिश अंड द प्रिजर्वे आफ्टर दट द फुड रेग्युलेट कंपल आफ दि ग्लोबल वार्म ग्लोबल ग्लोबल ऐक्सप्टबल फॉर्म ओके